Hey guys, Fry here. Another Crypto Comics Creator Spotlight. This time we got Gypsy. Gypsy Leaf. Gypsy Leaf Art. How do you want us to refer to you? Um, well, my name's Amy. <laughs> well, I can do that. But, uh, my, yeah, there you go. But my uh, my art page is Gypsy Leaf Art. So. Alright, so we've got yep. Amy with Gypsy Leaf Art. We're going to word it that there way. There we go. The one, the only, the taco queen of my dreams, Amy. Okay. <laughs> so, let's get started. So, Shall we? Okay. How you doing? Yeah. How you doing today, Amy? I told you I was going to make okay. it awkward. You didn't think I would. That's okay. That's okay. You're so kind, Fry. You're so kind. Oh, it's so coming. I'd just like to say hello. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us on Crypto Comics Spotlight. We have with us today Amy Frazier of Gypsy Leaf. She is awesome. That wonderful artwork you see behind her is actually um, a showcase of her talents. She does incredible, incredible paintings. Um, she actually has some super awesome characters. They're kind of affiliated with the marketplace, at least one of them, you know, so, and we're going to have her explain some of those cool stuff to us. Um, also, uh, we just want to make sure that um, we, we let you know where you can find um, Gypsy Leaf art. So uh, if you would be so kind, Matt. All right. Uh, so as he said, uh, our guest today is uh, Amy. Uh, we've actually been trying to get you uh, on the spotlight for quite a while. So uh, yeah. thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's um, been 82 years. <laughs> well, 83 if you now. count last summer. <laughs> so can you start us off by uh, telling us a little bit about yourself? Um, okay, so I'm Amy. Um, I'm just, uh, just your regular uh, small town girl. Uh, living in a lonely world. Um, oh, it's coming. I, yeah, I, oh. I told you. So um, since uh, uh, I'm pretty introverted to begin with, so with the whole quarantine, we've uh, really have loved not seeing anyone. So I don't really don't know how to act around people anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, no, so I'm a, I'm a mom here in Idaho. I, uh, my day job is I work with uh, special ed kids and, and the evenings I paint and such. And so, yeah, that's what I, I do. I just and I make, add, I make fried tacos. So <laughs> I just want to add mom's rule. You're number one. Hey, yeah. So yeah, someone's got to take care of all you guys. So yeah, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, um, would you would you consider yourself a a writer or an artist? <laughs> um, neither. <laughs> uh, yeah. Be modest now. Be don't be modest. Um, yeah. No, I uh I okay. So I guess I would consider myself first an artist. Um, I do have some books in the system that I've written. I have some kids books but um they were not uh something that was on the forefront of my mind that i felt like i had to necessarily get out and so i wouldn't really consider myself an self an author a writer at all for that um by those means um i've kind of come up with stories based upon my art uh, so it's kind of done things backwards In terms of some of my the stories even on the system i've actually made the paintings first they were not done in any particular order and then i came across came up with a story after i moved them around and saw what was there so now okay. now the story that you're so so you have the two books that i know the two children's book in the marketplace are uh snail the snail and frantic froggy which mm -hmm. are both awesome awesome books Yep. Um, and actually narrated yes. by yours truly, correct? Yes. So that oh. is something that I really, 
Yes. So I loved with um, putting my books in the crypto comic system was that there is an option to add audio to every page. And so by uh, poking and prodding by the people who do crypto comics, I don't know who they are. Um, they, uh, <laughs> I've heard they're handsome. <laughs> yeah. Well, the one who really like kind of most about it he's not on here so i guess he is the most handsome um oh. yeah. yeah um yeah he's also a little bit more important sorry guys love you oh. all but you know but you know anyway, what we'll give him that he's I, he's fractionally I more important it's over no i'm just kidding <laughs> no so i really wanted to display or to showcase that you guys can do audio in the books now doing music um is absolutely awesome but you're like well let's narrate the books especially for kids books um mm -hmm. and so i just went through and i made audio tracks for every page and because i wanted a feature so that when you click the page it just started reading and boom and it was i did it in a day i did all that audio and uploaded it all in a day oh, and everything wow. Yeah, it was, it didn't take long at all. And I thought it was super cool, really easy, lickety split, all came together. Um, I've even pulled up crypto comics in my classroom and opened up my Frantic Froggy book and had that read to my students while I was busy doing something else. That's so that's cool. We're going to show that off really quick here, guys. Uh, you got on the call you might not hear the audio here but i'll give you a cue to let you know when the audio kicks back up knock 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 not i said the butterfly everyone else here has been mean to you because they are scared of you because you are different from them different why that's silly i'm just like you but i carry my home with me and you have wings to fly back to your home with you really have no need to be scared of me snell said I know that. It's the others. I've been talking to them about it all day, and they're not scared anymore. Does that make you feel better? said the butterfly. Well, a little, but I still have a problem. So I can't perfect. cross oh, the river, so awesome. Snell told her. Uh, Snell can't cross the river. <laughs> Just talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, Fry. It's oh. okay. We're here for you, dude. We are here for you, dude. Oh, God. Uh, so awesome. Okay. So awesome. It's okay. So, it's so, okay. so, um, so, so the, so the uh, narration that you did for these books, actually you did more as a test just to kind of help us test the system then. Yeah, a bit. And, uh, and X, you know, I did that um, right before Fan X, I think the spring one you guys went to? I, believe, I don't yeah. remember. Wow. Yeah. I think I, cause it was one I, yeah, it had to be the spring, the spring X, I think. And I did that when you guys were on the road um, and got it all up there for Joe. And yeah, and it was, oddly, it was before I started my teaching position. And so I didn't realize, I didn't know how much I would be actually narrating books to kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, so yeah, I've got a lot of practice now narrating kids books. Um, so if anyone else on the system needs a narrator. <laughs> oh, excellent. All right. All right. Um, excellent. No, so yeah, I, so originally, yeah, I originally did it as a test to kind of make sure everything was going good and it turned out great and i stuck it stuck with it and just yeah no oh, that's awesome <laughs> uh now i've uh, let my kids um check out a lot of uh your books and they really really uh love that friend of froggy um so i gotta ask um do you, have you had any formal training um, or is this all self-taught? I know you're part of um, a group in, um, in your town. Uh, 
can you tell us a little bit about your background with that, with art? Yeah, so I am completely uh, self-taught. Um, I had an interest in art since I was a little kid. Um, I always thought I, either, I wanted to be an artist and a scientist when I grew up, but I never took any formal training. Um, I had some, took some classes in high school, but not the fine arts classes. Um, I didn't like that teacher, so I didn't take those classes. Um, and so I didn't have any formal training at all um, with my art and with my painting. I actually, uh, let's see, about six or seven years ago now probably, uh, got a watercolor set as a birthday gift and just started playing around with it and it opened a floodgate. I, there was something in there that I didn't know was in there and that's how it all kind of started. Um, so this is all completely self-taught and I don't even really like to necessarily even use the word taught. I think it's more self-discovered. I haven't even like taken many YouTube videos or gone to many courses um, or anything like that. Um, my biggest teacher has probably been Bob Ross. Uh, so. Right on. I'm not so, okay. Yeah, so that's, yeah, that's about it. Um, in terms of my writing, the, um, the two kids books, Snell the Snail is, uh, I'm dating myself now, is 20 years old now. Um, I wrote that in high school for a high school creative writing class. And that was my, what I thought was going to be my one and only kids book. And then a few years ago, um, my husband asked me to write a, a kid's book um, because Frantic Froggy uh, has had meaning to me from my childhood. And he's like, oh, use it in a book. And so I sat down when we were living in the RV and wrote a kid's book in the RV. <laughs> and now that's up on Crypto Comics and narrated. So. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep. What, um, what, how, how would you, how do you, how would you describe your style? My style? Um, your style. It's just, your own little it's, style. It's bright and colorful. Um, oh, nice. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> I mean, I've had a lot of people when they see my stuff, they're like, oh, that's really nice. It's really colorful. Um, <laughs> like, yep, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, I don't. I, don't... I was just gonna say, I, I, I love how you always incorporate um, your images with like a really cool, uh, like a, a universe theme or scene. And you're always, it always seems like each picture um, is, is almost telling its own little story because you have something happening alongside this like universal epic like it's so it's so awesome how you merge the two it's so fantastic i freaking love it i love oh, the paintings. thank you well thank you jared um yeah so typically i do the backgrounds first um i let whatever kind of comes out come out um especially with my galaxies and my sunsets i do the backgrounds first and then sometimes i let them sit there for days weeks oh, wow. before I figure out what it's supposed to be put on it. What's the rest of the story? Um, sometimes it comes together right away. Uh, Spaceman Bob, or my space in the face, this one here. I love it, space in the face. Yeah, space in the face, he came out in a day. One of my quickest paintings ever. But I woke up, I woke up and the universe was said, do this now. And I just went straight to my canvas and just started working. And so I went, okay, boop -ba -doo. Um, Other ones, um, they can take a long time. Um, this one up here, my BFF one, that background was sat there for a long time. It actually had something else on it. It didn't have Bob and Gray on it at all. I didn't like how it looked. And finally, I woke up one day and said, this is what needs to go there. Slapped it on there. and then the story was, that picture was finished. So, so where did Bob and Gray um, come from? Um, okay, so Bob and Gray are an homage to Crypto Comics. <laughs> oh, what? No. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah awesome. it started off. So yeah, Bob and Bob started off as I did a galaxy painting and it sat there for a while and I knew it needed something on it. And it was shortly after you guys had uh, signed papers and such. And I was looking at it and looking at it and I knew we needed something for the office and Bob appeared in my head. And so I slapped Bob on there. Um, so the very, very first one, you can't, you can't see on here. The very first Bob I did was, um, it's a green and blue swirly one with Bob in the corner. Um, that was the very first Bob. And that was all because of Crypto Comics. Um, yeah. And so as my homage to Crypto Comics, and I felt like we needed Crypto Comics in, um, in the office, I made sure that I had a Bob painting. And then it just kind of opened up the universe, no pun intended, and uh, everything else kind of came out. And I felt along the way, Bob needed a friend. So who else would a silent Bob have but <laughs> Jay Gray? So yeah, Jay. that's that's so awesome. That totally that makes so sense to me. Awesome. Okay, yeah. so uh, you said that Bob Ross, uh, well, you took a lot of inspiration from Bob Ross. Uh, yeah. Who else would you say are some of your idols? Oh gosh. Um, <laughs> uh that's a good one um i don't know i in terms of in terms of like the art world and stuff i'm really just i i just kind of love everyone's art if that makes sense um okay. i think everyone <clears throat> and the universe is very inspirational um in terms of like technique and stuff i don't really look at anyone else's stuff and try to um imitate or really even go off of anything that other people do um i kind of throw paint on a canvas or on paper and it does stuff and i just try to manipulate it and have the universe tell me the story it wants to tell me um from the chat yeah here. i know it's really a really horrible big answer no 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 no, no. That, that leads right in right into your motivations we're we're used what to working motives? with jared that's as specific as it gets half the time hmm? yeah. <laughs> you're yeah, right on true. it perfect so, so real quick to interrupt guys from the chat uh we got oh. I, I believe it's uh gary and janae um i pronounce everything wrong so Hopefully that's not incorrect, but it says, uh, Amy Frazier is my next door neighbor. She, her husband, and her son are awesome. Best neighbors you could ask for. Also, as you can see, she is super talented. Very talented. And also says, Bob is awesome, but I really like her Sasquatch Bigfoot work best. We're getting to it, Gary. Okay. Just give me a second. I'm trying to, trying to build up a little emphasis. Spoiler alert. There might be a Bigfoot sighting tonight. I mean, clearly, the fans are speaking. I'm going to go right over to Bigfoot here. So that, that does bring up a, a good question. Uh, so is there a plan in the works for a story with, with, um, with Gray and Bob? So there are. Um, I haven't written it. I, so like I said, uh, it's been... Over a year, I've been making Bob paintings. They've just been coming out and and everything, and they're in no particular order. Things just appear, you know? And it's quite a large collection of Bob paintings, and we wanted to make a Bob wall at the office, and I was like, well, let me see if I can find Bob's story, if there's a story in here. And it literally, I mean, it was like, the biggest storyboarding because these are 16 by 20 paintings i'm physically moving them around <laughs> on the floor in the office and then it like appears and i'm like here is bob's story and i tell my husband and he's like yes this is bob's basic you know the basic outline for bob's story so i do have a basic outline and now it's 
as you said, every painting can be its own story. So now it's actually figuring out how in depth of a story I'm gonna create oh, from this. But I so do have a story. I do have, I figured out a story um, that the universe was trying to tell me with, uh, with Gray and Bob, so. And yeah. then is there a third character that might join this story? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So there is. So, okay. I, um, yeah, where do I, what are my other passions in life or my influences? Um, I watched way too much Ancient Aliens. Yes. Um, that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, just a tad bit. Um, so, and all that, and everything that kind of goes along with that genre of, of stuff. So there is another character. Um, Sasquatch is sh showing up. And so last year, last year, so I live in Idaho, Pacific Northwest. We obviously have a lot of Bigfoot Sasquatch fans around here. We had an awesome Sasquatch festival um, in Pocatello that I uh, displayed some art at. And I figured, okay, if I'm going to go to a Bigfoot fest, I need some Bigfoot art. Alien stuff is awesome, and everyone who loves Bigfoot loves aliens, but let me find some Bigfoot stuff. So I did some Bigfoot pieces, and in the midst of that, um, and they were all done haphazardly and not in any particular order, um, I did those and everything, had them putting up, putting them up on my wall with other paintings. Oh, all of a sudden here's Bigfoot story came out. And so in crypto comics, I threw together my, my Bigfoot paintings and made my little Bigfoot story on crypto comics. So this is why you can never find Bigfoot is because he has something to do with Jay and Bob. So nice. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Did, so did did you see did you see my banner on my on my profile page by chance? Um, <laughs> oh yes, I think I remember. I on your crypto comics page you're talking about. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm a Sasquatch fan too, just like you. <laughs> well, you kind of have to be when you're in Idaho, right? Right. right. So. I mean, he does have a place just out back. <laughs> so as a creator, what is your greatest strength in all this? Um, you know, the just... I, I don't know if I'm wording this right. Like uh, just with everything that you've created and, you know, coming up with the stories, which brilliant stories, amazing, you know, artwork. What is your greatest strength? My greatest strength? Mm -hmm. um, oh, goodness. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I guess tr my, I would say my greatest strength is pulling out a story um, from not much there, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so like with Frantic Froggy, uh, the pretty much the only guys was, um, okay, there's a frog, and obviously, and uh, <laughs> liking reading. Because we were trying to promote reading. We wanted to, I was, my main thing was to uh, write a story promoting reading. I'm like, okay. Um, so I went with, and artistically, I'm great at verses, fine, detailed characters, not so much. So I guess uh, a good strength of mine is finding uh, stories that I can do and not have to do a lot of detail work <laughs> in terms of my art. <laughs> Um, cause yeah, I am definitely not a, uh, the typical comic book artist or anything like that. I am, I guess, not the typical artist that you would find on crypto comics. Um, because I'm slapping paint on big canvases. I'm not, 
pulling out my iPad. Um, I'm not pulling out a notebook and a pen. <laughs> Whoa, I feel attacked. Yeah, so yeah. No, I mean, I'm come on. She just attacked <laughs> you. That was on you, buddy. I don't have an iPad. Not I don't have to worry about it. I am attacking myself because I'm not that type of, of artist. So I'm like the very non traditional. Uh, or, or, yes, or you are traditional. super traditional because you go to the original mode of. Yeah. So I guess. And, and you know, I just wanted to draw attention to the to the piece that might still be up right now because the delay and stuff. But it's a it's a it's a I think it's a moon and it has a, mm -hmm. a green crescent and then you have trees. But the the awesomest part of this painting, and I'm just going to argue with you on you not having detail, is there's a peace sign right in the middle because it's freaking awesome oh. because of the detail that you put into that painting. I just wanted to add your awesome. I, will. I can do detail on trees. <laughs> I'd like to add really quick from the chat. Uh, Terry on Facebook says her depth of characters. So I believe she's mentioning with of strength. My strength, yeah. So very yeah. cool. I really like how you're building your characters. I I like how how you're creating things and then finding stories within those creations to to make you know, a story come to life. I think that's incredible. I think that's just incredible creativity and, and, and just showcases your talent. I mean, you are an incredible artist and you have an incredible vision because you're able, oh, that's a beautiful, that's a beautiful painting. The yeah, humanity. Oh my gosh. I love your paintings, but, but it's incredible what you do. I think it's just incredible what you do, how you're taking your art and you're turning it into a story, which is an incredible way to go about it yeah well thank you and uh and well it's really easy to create a story with uh your system with crypto comics i mean it's i i had no plans on making a little story about bigfoot i had no plans at all but your system is so ridiculously easy that it was like oh well boom here now i just made a book oh look i can share it with everyone that's pretty awesome. Like, <laughs> I, I, I have a question. I have a question for you in relation to that perspective. How did it feel when you were able to create a book so quickly and so easily and then be able to see it in a reader so fast after you had created it? Like, how was that? I mean, that just makes the whole book creating, uh, it's just part of kind of the part of book creating. And it made it just lickety split, just, just, really easy and it's really kind of idiot proof once you <laughs> and it's like oh page uh, one again we work with jared hey there's a reason why i'm called the bug magnet I, True. i'm either finding the bugs or i'm creating them making them yep I'm sorry guys <laughs> <laughs> no you're fine um but yeah no it was it was really easy i mean i just made up um yeah, I mean, I have my paintings all, I mean, they're just pictures of my paintings. And then I just quickly made up some text pages and just uploaded those. And, oh, look, here's my story. And I can, yeah, visually, quickly see it and submitted it. And, oh, look, there's, there's my husband buying it and looking at it. Oh, there's my son buying it and looking at it and sharing it out and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, to go from, I have an idea to it's up and being shared i did that in an evening cool. so yeah <laughs> uh from the from the chat digital dwight on twitch says i love the sunsets they are so beautiful they remind me of the skies here in the southwest and yeah i added a little bit of cumbersome tone to that because that's why i'm imagining that he wrote that <laughs> he probably did say it just like that so I have to say that my personal favorite is that red leaf with the white background. I just, it's the simplicity of it. I love it. Yeah, it was great. Okay. Especially the work with the shadows on it. Yeah, that one right there. It is awesome. Uh, and Digital Dwight says yeah, that was I a actually, spot on oh. Digital Dwight impression, Fry. Of course it was a spot on <laughs> okay. impression. There you go. You have to add that sultry yeah, I actually have. Um, 
yeah, Matt, you're talking about that one, that one leaf painting. I'll have to show you some other ones. I actually have other leaf paintings I have that I haven't put. Um, I actually haven't taken good pictures of yet, so they're not online yet, but they're uh, even better than that one, I think. So. Uh, so is, is that how you're transferring your paintings into the marketplace? Are you just taking digital photos and then uploading those photos? Yep. Genius. Yep. Yep. So I just take I just take pictures of my photo or of my paintings, um, which can be a little tricky at times to get good lighting, um, mm -hmm. especially if you have glossy paint. Glossy paint can be hard. Um, yeah, I've come to find out. And uh, so I <laughs> like my forehead of them. I just take pictures of my uh, of my paintings and just crop them down, make sure they look nice, edit them nice, and that's what I use. And I use those. Um, that's what I sell my my prints of. Um, so I do sell I do sell originals on occasion, but uh, mostly I just try to sell prints. Uh, well, let's talk about those avenues. I'm assuming that oh, yeah. Etsy would be the place to go for the originals. Um, uh, no, for the no. originals. For the originals. You, the originals, you need to just contact me. Yeah. How, do, how would you prefer that to be done? Offer. Through Facebook. Mm -hmm. Would you prefer <laughs> um, that to be through yeah. Facebook? Okay, so. Not, yeah. I like to get an original from her, man. It's like. You, you gotta pay five for in order to get one of them because they are high quality. They are really, really, really nice. Like super nice. So I've gone ahead and put the link inside of the chat there. So you guys should see that popping up at any time now. Um, if you are watching the stream, uh, keep in mind there's sometimes a delay on those things, but it is facebook.com slash gypsy leaf. And you can contact Amy and buy all of the things that she wants to sell. Um, but I will personally yeah, let you know that my, she's kind of picky. <laughs> I will say Etsy is where you can get my prints. Um, order my okay. prints uh, through Etsy. Um, they're really affordable. Um, I try to make everything really affordable. Uh, I think every everything on my Etsy page should be like $20 and under. Um, so And and I, I will personally Etsy's say the they're great quality. Great quality sure. paper. Very heavy prints. Um, the stickers are awesome. And... Yes, if you have are. a chance to pick up one of the holographic stickers, those things are sweet. Do you yeah, sell, do you sell the magnets on uh, on Etsy? The, mm -hmm. the yeah, yeah the I magnets have... are super cool. I got a I, I got a space in the face magnet. It's so freaking awesome. Mm -hmm. It's like right on my fridge all the time. I love that one. Yeah, and the my magnets and so I have magnets and stickers and prints on Etsy. Um, I do have, I have lots of originals. They are, um, they're hard to come by only because um, I don't like blank space on my wall, for one. And um, also, you kind of got to pry them out of Joe's hands. Actually, so. what's funny there is a certain Joe Frazier on Facebook just put, originals are a much more rare animal i hear that she has to arm wrestle her husband for those since they're supposed to go on the apogee office walls yeah. he did yeah. add he did add a winky face emoji he said no and i was talking to amy at the time i was like amy can i have this one and joe's over at the side i wasn't even talking to him he's like no you can't have that one i'm like what yeah. he'll he yeah, will that... attack you and chase oh, you down please. the street like a wild bear he will yeah he will I, and that's not that's not an exaggeration on on that part. Um, he I did a painting I did a painting at the beginning of quarantine, um, and with I posted it on Facebook, and within like two hours I had a lady asking if she could buy the original, and he was in the shower, so I said yes, um, because I knew if I asked oh. him he would have said no. I knew I had to sell it i had to complete the sale i was wrapping it up before he like got out of the shower i had off the wall and was wrapping it because he 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 was not happy about it but i was like hey if it's meant to be if if someone who i don't know and is not my mom i love you mom but i mean when someone who i don't know 
wants to buy my stuff within like an hour of me posting it, I take that as the universe saying that needs to happen. So then I let him go. You're awesome, but, he, but he doesn't like them to go, um, to go at all, really. So, yeah. <laughs> well, you, know, you have a few fans that have tried to acquire one. He won't let he, you have a number one fan who literally blocks everybody else. But I'm proud of you for actually sneaking that one by him. I think that was a step. Yeah, there, but there, awesome. there's a few of them. Um, I will say, I mean, for I's got an original. I don't what? know if he's, yeah. What? Oh. Allegedly. I allegedly. Nice well, one. he was supposed <laughs> to, I thought, like give it to his daughter or something, but I don't know. Um, <laughs> That was a joke. That didn't happen that at all. One. It didn't happen yeah. at all. Well, to be no, clear, no, though, actually, I think... yeah, to be clear, that was a <laughs> gift for Mercedes. So, <laughs> so I I went ahead and I put it up because it will get ruined with you know teenage girl stuff right now. So I put that one up, but right. then oh, she wow. stole. Well, then she stole like two of my two of my gypsy leaf prints right after that. So I was like, <laughs> if, I. They suck. Like the only one that I've I've still got is is my rowboat one, and the reason that sits up there on the top shelf is just because that was the first time that I've ever had a grown man try to attack me over a print. Right. <laughs> and so. I know who that grown man was. Yeah, Amy's husband. <laughs> That's right, Joe. We know you're watching. We know you're watching. Now. <laughs> calling you out. Life insurance pays off double if I'm on a work trip, Joe. All right. <laughs> Keep that in mind. So we're supposed to take you out on a work trip? What? No, no we were we were at a convention or something like that and that was I wanted to buy I wanted to buy I don't even know what it's really called. I call it rowboat. But I wanted to buy yeah. the rowboat painting and and I remember I was I had said something to Joe about it and immediately the that's the only time I've ever been scared of him. You know what I mean? And I mean, that man, I'm, I'm a large, I'm a large fella. You know, it might be hard to tell on a stream, but I'm kind of a big dude. And oh, we're all intimidated. I was terrified. I was, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not, I can't even repeat what he said. Yeah. All you gotta do is get him to put on the clown face, man. And it's going to well, and then the coolest thing happened is like, I don't know, two, about a month or two later, Amy, you know, put up some prints of it. And I was like, hey, I got to have at least a print of this. And so she, she did one for me that's like, you know, matted and it's really nice. That's one that I have up there. And I remember that even when she handed it to me, Joe was still just kind of back behind her, just scowling at me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I could feel it, you know? Um, real quick though, guys, I'm going to catch up on chat here. Uh, so Comics to Movies says, hey guys, what's up? Comics to movies, what's going on? Uh, Trixie from Facebook says, I have a couple of originals. Nice. Trixie from hey. Facebook, you may not want to post your address. Don't let <laughs> Joe know. Don't let Joe know. <laughs> yeah. Joe knows he, that Trixie has originals. Oh, my gosh. But, oh, I see where we sit. Thanks, Joe. Yeah. Thanks, man. I'm really starting to feel Well, well Trixie, okay. I will, I will, I'll, I'll buy it was when i was still selling original uh watercolors oh. when my watercolors were still oh. originals and i was selling those so um, that's, that's that cheating she though got. she she was at the front of the line already well it yeah i mean she... joe says i'm okay with it if it's going to a good home i feel like he's telling me that my home oh, wouldn't my be a good God, home, a good home. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> You know, that's like when you're excited about a puppy and then the people are like, no, dude, you have green hair. You can't take the puppy. This isn't the and right like, puppy. Oh. I don't think you can handle this breed. <laughs> uh, Trixie says, Trixie on, Facebook says that she, Trixie on Facebook says that she makes Joe food. Well, I'm a terrible oh, cook. Wow. I make Joe laugh every once in a while. She... Yeah, but that's a day. He's laughing at you, not with you. Hey, you're not the one oh, making I, these oh, rules. Are we on camera? Did I just say that out loud? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Let's Casey Corbridge on Facebook says food is always a good bribe. Go ahead, Matt. 
I was saying it's moments like this that I just I absolutely love these interviews. <laughs> I think Amy knew this one was going right off the rail. Someone who's off screen. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought we could make it on someone on screen too. Well, yeah, that too. Uh, Spencer Kerr on Facebook. Um, Again, I apologize if I mispronounce anybody's names here. Uh, Says sweet paintings. Joe Frazier on Facebook says good food works. Trixie's good or Trixie's good is always is always good. Fries, uh, I'm not so sure. Man, I will say, um, yeah. So I'll I'll dish a little secret. Fry was really trying to get me to finally do this interview, and he was like, "I begging me." He's like, "I will personally make you tacos." That did happen. And I just looked at Joe, and I was like, "Um, I'm the one who makes the tacos. He hasn't made me tacos." Oh, I offered it. She so said no, cool. and I want the entire world to know that right now dude she's that's her a, saying she now. came on here anyways with us you are awesome amy you are at awesome. this point it was probably because she didn't want to have to try my tacos probably i would be saying personally i mean i mean to be fair they're not as good as tacos as her tacos so it, it's a win-win for me yeah, my tacos aren't that good like they're just tacos you shush they're, i just make a lot of them because so well, this you eat 13 of them whenever you come over. So I have to make a lot. All right, we're going to settle this old school style. Both you guys are going to make some tacos. And <laughs> we're going to eat them. <laughs> OK, that sounds good. We'll have right. a taco off. Oh, yes. Taco, uh, 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 oh my gosh, how could you say that? The cool. taco challenge. The taco challenge. It is on. Uh, in the chat, eating. Joe Frazier on Facebook says. We'll talk about it later. Joe Fraser, Joe Fraser just says, "Ha ha, uh, food." And Digital Dwight on Twitch says, "I still like tacos." Good yes, man, Joe. Dwight. Good man. So. So what's better, Taco Bell or street tacos? No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get out of here. Go on. Someone uh, kick him tacos. onto the chat. Yeah, street tacos are better. Anyone answered Taco Bell to that, they can just go. So, um, are there any um, Back to the projects books. that you're working on right now? Um, mainly just the coming up with Bob's story, the Bob and Gray story. Um, and I got some, you know, paintings. I got a painting on my easel right now. So, um, got that going on, but nothing, uh, no new store. Well, yeah, no new stories or no new characters really yet i've started uh delving into the world of owls so there might end up being some owl creatures uh cool. owls are up. everywhere they are um and that blame if your you husband know anything that. about ancient aliens and all that kind of stuff you'll there's owls involved well, right. in owls represent stuff. wisdom and and they also represent some god or something like that well, yeah, um, watch the movie, The Fourth Kind, and you'll know more about owls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, you're like pulling out some dishes. Woo! Let's Dang. see, on Mixer, Ty Ty So Cool is now following. Thanks, Ty. Ty Ty? Thanks, Ty Ty. Ty Ty, yes. Appreciate the follow. Uh, Gypsy Fraser on Facebook says, it's going to be hard to beat Amy's tacos. I am, I am willing and prepared to take this challenge up because no matter what, even if my tacos suck, I still get to eat Amy's tacos. And it's like it's a win-win for you. And everyone else has to be half full with crappy tacos. So uh, let's see. Trixie on Facebook says, I volunteer as a judge. I, I feel like we'd get a lot of volunteers anytime that Amy was going to do a taco tournament. I think a lot of people would just be like, I just heard there was an open judging panel. I'm here. I'm here to sign up. But I feel, I feel like I've discoursed us enough with the the speak of tacos and food yeah. so I, my really. apologies <laughs> Go ahead, Matt. I have another question for you that's actually related to uh crypto <laughs> we can, we can bring back around now. <laughs> somebody's got to bring us back here um what <laughs> advice do you have for somebody that's just wanting to get into art in general or paints or anything um or writing what what advice would you give them 
stubborn part of your brain to shut up and to just do it. <laughs> okay. I have to do that a lot with me. Um, there's always that, that stubborn part or that very critical part that I don't know, I'm not good enough. Um, and I do it a lot personally. And I got to tell that part to, to shut up and just do it. Get it out. And you might be surprised. Um, cause that's kind of how what's happened with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I got things out and I was really surprised cause I thought I can't do it. I can't, I can't do what Bob Ross does. I can't do what, um, so-and-so does. I'm no Dr. Seuss. Why bother writing a kid book? And then it came out and I'm like, oh, that's a lot better than I thought. Um, and there is no age limit or age discrimination. Um, I love the fact that um, like on crypto comics, I can open up and I can find like kids stuff. And then you can also find stuff that's by a middle-aged woman who's just starting doing stuff. So um, yeah, those are my words of advice. Just tell your brain to shut up and just do it. <laughs> Yeah, because we are we are our own worst critics, right? Oh, very much so. Very much so. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is a major hurdle. And I think for a lot of people, like I I definitely hate showing my creations a lot of the times. Cause because when I look at it, I'm like, oh, this sucks. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else looks at it, they're like, oh, it's so cool. Like, what? what was that, oh, Matt? I've seen your creations. Whatever. I don't so, even want to talk to you. <laughs> so uh, how about you tell us a little story about the yellow convertible? Oh, 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 yes. Um, so, okay, so that is my homage to Tesla and Tesla's space van. Um, Joe has always wanted a big yellow car, as he says. Um, he want he's always wanted a yellow big yellow convertible like an old Bel Air, and so for Christmas I believe one year, um, I actually had that background uh, sitting in a box for a couple of years. I had been just sitting there, and uh, it was probably like the day before Christmas or something. Had this idea got up early, rushed off, and found a picture of a nice Bel Air and pulled out that background and just painted that on that background for Joe for Christmas the one year because uh, Elon had just launched uh, his Tesla and Spaceman into, mm -hmm. into outer space. And so we're like, hey. We got a spaceman, and now there's a spaceman Bob out in outer space, which was really awesome. So, yeah, I mean, Bel Air Tesla. Oh, yeah. Well, now the real oh, spaceman Bob on. is on the ISS. So, 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 what, so, what does that Bel Air run on? Ambition, oh, dreams, dreams. dreams. Yeah, <laughs> you got it. You're <laughs> so awesome. Oh, Jared. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump back over in the chat real quick, guys. Uh, everyone in chat, thank you for being so so interested and involved. It always makes these things a lot more fun. Uh, so Terry on Facebook says, Love owls. Amy, ha or, Amy hasn't always liked them. Mine creeped her out. Oh. Ooh. Called yeah. out by Terry. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, no. Then yeah. we've got uh, uh, Gary Janae, the neighbor. Uh I live next door and I didn't know that you're a taco master. That needs to change. I think I foresee the taco <laughs> night in the near future. I think so too. Oh, I think so too. I think oh, it needs now. to happen. Oh. Um, and then follows that up with, um, I fight that as well. Or I fight that too. I'm talking about uh, the thought process there. I have a few storylines that have been living rent free in my brain for some time now. Maybe I need to check out crypto comics a little more. Not a maybe. Not a maybe. You need to check it out just as bad as we all need Amy to make us more tacos. I think those right. two things sit on an equal scale. That's right. I think we're good. 
You Gold. tell him, Fry. You tell I am. Him. So, oh, good job. I also wanted to drop in here real quick, guys. Um, Amy's books are also available, um, I believe, just in paperback or paperback and digital on Amazon. Um, on Amazon, it's just uh, paperback. Just paperback. The only way to get, yeah, my digital books are exclusively on Crypto Comics, <laughs> and um, and the only way to get a narrated book is to go onto Crypto Comics. Um, yeah, the only way to have me read those books to you is to go on Crypto Comics or to be a student in my classroom. <laughs> yeah. So. And I can tell you from personal experience, if you're over six foot three, they know you're lying about being a student in her classroom. That's all we got to say. Yeah, I work with I work with like third graders. So now, mind you, they're about as tall as me, but you're just a little bit bigger than them. So Slightly. yeah, you'd stand out. Um, so yeah, so yeah. those of you that like having a physical copy, make sure you jump over onto Amazon. Um, links are, as always, in the chat. I'm going to go ahead and update those really quick though here. Um, we've got one link for Frantic Froggy and one link for Snell Snell. Um, but always, always, always go and support creators, whether it's in Crypto Comics, whether it's on Amazon, wherever it's at. A lot of people like having that physical copy of the book. Make sure you grab a hold of it. Um, and let's see, I know convention wise, we normally ask if you've got any conventions coming up, but uh, nobody does right now, except for one. What? That's There's right. One? Amy Fraser is going to be on our round table of creators. So everyone needs to look forward to that. CouchCon 2020. Uh, the date mm -hmm. for that, I want to say. Oh my gosh, I don't the have it right in front of me. I'm an idiot. Uh, weekend of the 25th. Yep, uh, it'll, it'll be that Saturday. We'll be putting up um, announcements for that. So make sure you come and support Amy in her cause of round table superiority. Um, it's uh, that's going to be awesome. There's no superiority. Everybody's on the same level. Well, I mean, there's you, <laughs> and then there's all of the Crypto Everybody Comics else, creators. Right? <laughs> so I I also wanted to I also wanted to add in that um and if you go to cryptocomics.com forward slash you forward slash gypsy leaf, she is sponsoring her invite campaign now and it is active. So mm -hmm. you can actually join the marketplace um and check out Gypsy Leaf's um uh, books and her her narrated children's books and really get an understanding of what we're talking about in relation to what's going on here. So if you go to cryptocomics.com forward slash you forward slash gypsy leaf, that's capital G Y um, lowercase Y P S Y capital L E I F. And the link gypsy. is in the, in the chat. Yep. And to those of you that are on Facebook, keep in mind that Facebook limits our capabilities of sharing Amazon links. I apologize about that. There's really nothing we can do. It's kind of out of our hands because Mark Zuckerberg doesn't want us to go to to go to Amazon, I guess. Sure. But um, <laughs> make sure you, you so make know. sure you go on to Amazon yeah. search for Gypsy Leaf. Go ahead, Amy. Say it. You're oh, gonna. Well. Yeah, or just go to Crypto Comics and just find them there. I'm like, it's kind of silly because they're all my books are exclusively created through Amazon. So I don't know how else to get them to people besides putting Amazon links on them. But oh well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, and, and we encourage any avenue, any way that anyone can actually help a creator. That's fantastic. If if you have oh. books for sale, we want them to go there and buy your book. We want them to support you because when they support you, you're going to be able to make more. And that's really what it's all about. You know, you're awesome. We. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to step back real quick. Um, Amy does have one other thing in the system that's pretty original as far as I can tell. Um, and that is with the living journal. Oh, yeah. so. I love this. Well, yeah, yeah. I do have to. I, I'm a little behind. Um, I gotta. I think. I, yeah, I got a couple more pictures that I've done, but I haven't taken good quality pictures out of them to post online. Mm -hmm. So the awesome thing with 
crypto comics is that you can keep adding pages to your books and keep editing your books even after you publish them um and it doesn't hurt like if someone if you've already bought the book you'll and you go back and i've edited it you'll still see you'll see those updated edits and so i am continually adding new paintings to my living journal and so the idea is that here is just kind of my portfolio of my work and as i do more i'm just going to keep adding more pages to it so you buy my book once but you'll keep adding you'll keep up to date with my portfolio um, that is so cool. much. which is yeah. amazing yeah i love this now now i just i just want to uh bring up why that was created it um we wanted to do that so that people could actually support creators who were starting out who were creating something and, and then they you know that gives them the ability to to continue on so that's mm -hmm. so awesome amy thank you so much for all that you do um just so everybody knows we're still in beta um, and it's because of wonderful, awesome, super fantastic, talented creators like um, Amy that have come in and helped us build this marketplace so that it works for creators and for fans. That's, that's our biggest goal right now is to make sure that this thing accommodates them. And without contributors like Gypsy Leaf, who are actually actively in there um, testing things and working with things, the things like the living journal wouldn't even be possible. Thank you so much. You're so fantastically awesome. Thank you. It's so cool to see. Yeah. Thank you. It's so awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, it's it's been it's it's an honor, I guess. Uh and it's been fun. Um I will say, I mean, okay, if anyone doesn't know, if you haven't picked it up yet, I'm married to not one of these guys. He's not on the screen, but Joe has done a lot for crypto comics to say the least. <laughs> and so uh bounce ideas off each other all the time. And with me having art and having books, it's made it easy to have me kind of be a guinea pig. And I'm fine with being a guinea pig for crypto comics. So best damn guinea pig, guinea pig ever. Oh you're no and 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 I just want to stress how important it is to have people like like you amy without people who are willing to contribute because it's so easy to 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 launch something like this and it just fall apart because you don't have people giving you the feedback you need and stuff and so just just thank you it, it is an honor to be able to work with with someone like you thank you so much thank you and uh i just love the fact that you guys um and crypto comics especially is you don't have any agenda <laughs> at all <laughs> um and no which is great you're not so okay, i'm not the typical comic book writer i have some children's books you guys are supporting children's books you're supporting art books you're supporting the very stereotypical comic um you're supporting the big guys you're supporting the little guys the 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 kid who's 10 years old and just drawing with a ballpoint pen. I love the fact that I can see all of that stuff in one place um, and have it be like, yeah, I mean, I can have, I can turn on the adult feature and see the very not safe for work stuff <laughs> that would definitely make, I, um, would definitely make my neighbors blush. Oh, um, but, <laughs> yeah, but and, but the fact that you know you guys got the filters in place to okay turn off the adult feature. Oh look, you can easily see the kids' books. But the fact that it's all in one place and you guys are supporting everyone equally is wonderful because everyone's on equal ground, and that's I think one of the best things about crypto comics is that you can be the little guy and still be on the same level as chad harden you know or whatever you know you can still be on that um promoted at the same level and i think that's really cool oh man i promised myself i wouldn't cry twice <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 
We love you, Amy. You know that. I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Amy. You are fantastic. So, um, well, that's all the quest time we have for questions, but I, I know this conversation can keep going and going because you are just fabulous. Um, so again, we are with Amy Frazier, who is Gypsy Leap. And um, be sure to check her out. Uh, join the marketplace and check out what's going on inside the marketplace. Go check out her Etsy. Go check out her Facebook. Support this creator and let's keep her creating. Oh, mm -hmm. amen to that. Um, also, be sure to come back on Monday for another edition of the Crypto Comics Couch, where it'll be me and uh, Bry there, kind of generally making fun of Jared. Um, That's why I'm never going to show up. I don't even want to be around you guys. Look, I had to shave because you guys made fun of me. Yes, we didn't make fun of you. A bunch of random people on Facebook yeah. made made memes about you. Are you yeah. serious? I'm famous? <laughs> famous. Totally famous. 100%. Thank you so much. Thank you so oh, much, Amy. I'm in famous. That's like more than famous. I'm in famous. That's exactly what it means. Yes, Jared. I, I got to I gotta ask Amy the hard question before we end this thing, though. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we All go. right. What, what's your favorite book in the system other than something you've worked on? Nice one. You are very active in the system, and I've noticed that. So I want to yeah, know, what is see. it? <clears throat> oh, well, the There's so many one. good ones. Have fun. <laughs> it's there are. There ones. are. There are so many good ones. Oh, I don't have one. I don't have one. Okay, but I'll say okay. Okay, late. Okay, the best one I've read. How about that? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I loved uh, Kudzu Zombies. <laughs> nice. Um, but and it's pronounced Kudzu. You didn't know how to pronounce it on the one. Um. Yeah. Did I? I did pronounce. I pronounce everything wrong. Yeah. It, yeah. Um. That one was. That one was good. Um. Oh, what are, uh, um, let me see. Okay, now I got to pull up my bookshelf, dude, because now I don't even remember. Put me on the spot. Um, yeah. I, love, I love, I love that. Okay. I love that you can have a creator um, who, okay, like Flippy the Dachshund. I love Flippy. I think that that's a great series. Um, I love the fact that you can have an author who will do kids books and then do very not, not so safe for books. work stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, not so kids books. Um, let's see those, that's great. And then for um, out of order, out of order is wonderful. And I know you love out of order. So mm -hmm. um, how can you not love those books when you read those? So, and relics is funny. He's got all the relics in there now, which is great. So yeah you know and then oh oh and i'll uh, throw a <laughs> shout out to, um, to what you're cheating you were supposed to say nobody one. Pick just one. Nobody yeah i can't one. pick one i can't pick one they're all great see i shouldn't even open up my my bookshelf because that see i don't have one i don't have one that i i go to sorry no, that's <laughs> why why have only one you have a whole big giant marketplace. You shouldn't have just one favorite. That's right. Well, and, and luckily, luckily we have talent to where you don't have to have just one because there is some really good quality in there. Really excellent quality in there. You're, you're totally right. I mean, I've been asked that question and man, it, it, you're just like, well, I mean, there's this one and this one and this one and this one, you know, I, uh, I can just go off. I can go off. So that's awesome. Mm -hmm. oh, that's awesome. What a great answer. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for being on this, Amy. Yeah. And I personally appreciate it because I've been bugging you for <laughs> a year you now to do this. <laughs> thank you, Amy. You are. Uh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> to be worshipped. Okay. Just so you know. And everyone in the mm -hmm. chat, make sure you like, subscribe, follow, whatever profile Share, or whatever social media whatever avenue you're watching us on yeah uh, 
as Matt said, we'll be back on Monday and we'll be back with uh, some other creators later on and be on the lookout because towards the end of the month, Amy is going to be back with a vengeance. It's like the sequel. It's like Amy part two. We're going to have Amy like coming in on a fat boy. You know what I mean? Whoa. Like. Oh yeah, it's gonna be rad. So, like, you know, lever action shotgun it's swinging at her hip. Dude. It's gonna be awesome. Oh, Telling Eddie, Edward Norton to get on the bike. Con? Yeah. Is it called Couch Con? Yeah. It's gonna be great. I love Couch Con, dude. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Right, thank you, Amy. Thank you.